Thanks to this amazing grassroots activism, universal access to free period products has become a mainstream campaign that every political party in this chamber has embraced. We all agree that no one should have to worry about where their next tampon pad or reusable is coming from. We are on the brink of passing this world leading legislation. Scotland will not be the last country to consign period poverty to history, but we have the chance to be the first. This has been a long time coming and I hope Parliament will unite behind the bill. I move the motion in mind. Ensuring that people have access to period products is a matter of basic equality. That's why in 2018, Scotland became the first country in the world to make period products available for free in schools and colleges. And it's why the Scottish Government significantly improved the availability of free products in public places. And it's why we've worked with third sector organisations to expand access to period products for those on low incomes. It's also why we think the passing of the Period Products Scotland Bill is so important. The legislation creates a universal right of access to free period products. It will therefore make products more easily available. It will promote period dignity and it will improve the lives of many across our country. Scotland is about to become the first country in the world to make sanitary items free for all women and girls. Seven News US Europe correspondent Sarah Greenolch is in London for us. Sarah, Scotland's really leading the way in ending period poverty. Good morning, Eddie. They really are. It has been a historic night in the Scottish Parliament. They have just voted on the period product bill and it has passed in the past half an hour or so. So that means they now have to come up with a way to make sanitary products universally available and free to all women. Since 2018, they have been free in schools in Scotland, England and Wales, but now they're going that next step further, making them free in all public buildings, all bathrooms, all workplaces. It, ha it has been an issue here. Uh, around 137 7,000 girls each year across the UK don't go to school at some stage because they don't have access to tampons on pads due to financial constraints. The MP who has really pushed this bill in Scotland would also like to see further education in schools to try and remove some of the stigma. This is the first legislation of its kind, so if the Scottish Parliament passes this bill, we will be the first country in the world to, to have legislation that provides products of this nature to everyone who needs them. So it really is a, a game changer in that respect. So the bill has now passed unanimously and it's expected to cost the Scottish Government about 17 million Australian dollars each year. Eddie? What a great story. Thank you, Sarah.